This is Amid Yoimi Gemar and Shabbos, Daf, Pei Aleph, Amid Aleph. We're holding the very bottom of Pei Amid B. It's about six lines from the bottom. The two dots, as we continue to discuss the different items and the shiurim, the quantities of them, that one is chayiv for carrying on Shabbos. So the Mishnah said, Vimaya Ave, no, we jump before that, I apologize. Kana, or read, Kedilasa, he's kolmis to make a pen. Tana, we learned in the rice that kolmis on the kishri, it's what he said. The pen has to be the size that it reaches one's fingernails, fingers, excuse me. Question is, by Ravashi, which part of your sharim, of your knuckles, of your fingers, you refer to Kesher al oi Kesher Tachnoin, says the Gemara Teku. We have to wait for Yohan Avi for that one. And the Mishnah continued, that if the reed was thick or if it was cracked, then it has to do with enough to make an egg. Tana says the Gemara, what type of egg? Chufa Bisham and Asuna It's an egg. That is mixed with oil and put in a pot. Do you know what kind of egg is an easily cooked egg? I heard it's the egg of a small dove. Asks Mar again to his son, My time, mom, he shumed his such, it's very small. Therefore, it cooks very easily. So why are you saying it's the egg of a tzeltzel, of a small dove? Ask the Gemara, wait, maybe it's the egg of a tzapirta, which is even smaller. Ishtik, he was quiet. Do you ever hear anything about this? The easiest egg to cook is the beya, is the egg of a tarni goylas. But my car, why is it considered the easiestly cooked egg? is the easiest egg to cook. Continues the Gemara. Why all the Shurmah of Shabbos all have to do with the Gregorus? And all of a sudden over here, Acha, we go into the Shur of a Beya. Why over here is a B'davka Beya, not a Gregorus? Says the Gemara. It is a Gregorus. It's a Gregorus. Is it a reed? The size of a gray grace of an egg. So it's the two of them that converge to create this shear. We move over to the mission on the top of Pe'alev Amiralev, continuing to list different items and the shearim of which one is chayiv on Shabbos, says the, the Mishnah. Etzem, if one carries a bone, Tilasu's Tarvod, enough to make a spoon. Review Demek Tilasu's menu chaf, they used to make locks, the teeth of a lock from bone. Zuchuch is glass, the illegal Rosh Hakarakar, to scrape the head of the weaver's peg, a certain item. In the loom, they would scrape the top of it with a sharp item, so use a piece of glass, or a heaven, pebble, or a stone. Kidei, Lizraik Ba'if, to throw it at a bird, or Lizbin Yaakov Aimer, Tilizraik Bebehima has to be the size to throw out a behemoth, which is slightly larger. This is in order to chase away a bird, to chase away an animal. They would throw things at it. So that's with the size of a pebble or a stone that is necessary. So it says the Gemara, the Meimra, the Shur, the Reviud, the Nafesh, we've seen many times. In the Mishnah, we have a Machlekes. Reviud says to make a lock. Tanikama says to make a spoon. So it sounds like Reviud this year is larger. But we know that the rule is the shiur the rabbanon enough is shiur the rabbanon always larger. Amar ula chafe poy sachas. When Rabbi Yudah says to make a lock, it doesn't mean to make the whole lock. It means just the teeth of the lock, which of course then will be smaller than the shear of the chacham. Tan rabbanon chafe poy sachas tayrim. When it comes to locks, the teeth of the lock are tahar kavan poy sachas. If they're fixed onto the lock, to me and then they are tummy. This is a din in Tumah V'tayra. The item itself is going to not be Mekabal Tumah. But once it's attached to the larger item, well, yes, be Mekabal Tumah. V'shal Gal. But if it's a lock of a gate, even though the lock is attached to the door, it's attached with nails, it's going to be to Hirin. Why? You should call him a Chubbali Karka. Areu Kikarka, a very important rule in Tumah V'tayra, that once something is attached or fixed, to the ground, then it has a din of mechuber like karka, has a din of karka itself, and it is tahar. Continues the Gemara, as chuches about ten lines down, the two dots. The head of the weaver's pick, 
says the Gemara Tana Sechuches glass k'day levsay of shnei nimin achas to cut two warp threads at once a certain sharpness of the item, a certain size of the item. That is the size one is liable, one is high for carrying a Shabbos. So our Evan a pebble or a stone. To throw at a bird, to throw it at a behemoth. It has to be large enough that when you throw it at the animal, the animal feels it. How large is that? That is the weight of 10 zuz. Continues the Yomar over 20 lines down. The first one line is Zainin. Zainin, that was his name, all the way came to Yeshiva, Amr the Rabbi Isai. He said, Rabbi Isai, Avanu Shabbat Isai Kisei, back in Bismarck Chazal, the way that they wiped themselves in the bathroom was to use stones. So those stones, the Beis Kisei, Shur and Bikama, how much are you allowed a very special dispensation that they made? The one is allowed to take them out, the one is allowed to utilize these stones on Shabbos. How many and in what size Stones are you allowed to carry out to bring to the bathroom on Shabbos. So Amr Loi, they responded to Zayinim, because Zayis Kegos and Kabeo. You're allowed to take three stones, the size of Zayis and Egos and Abeo. Amr Lohu, he said to them, Do you have a balance? Do you have a scale sitting in your bathroom? You're going to sit there, you're going to break each one, you're going to wait. It sounds crazy. Says the Gemara. Says the Gemara, you're right. You're right, it doesn't have to do with the size of each of the stones, but rather you're allowed to take a handful of stones, that's the that's the shear of stones, the one is allowed to take with them into the bathroom. Tiny we learned in a rice. Rav Yezi, I'm here, teaches Rav Yezi, because I say, Rav Yezi, Rav Yezi, I'm here, Rav Yezi, Yad, the size you can carry in your hand. Tadu Rabbanon, Shal Shavanam, the Kur Zola, he's supposed to lack this basic, he say, says a rice, a similar din, three, Stones, Mekorzalis, means there's one sharp side and three sharp side stones could bring into the bathroom. It comes out the same machlekes of the other sides of the stones. Let it bring into the bathroom is the same machlekes as in the minimum size of one's esrog for sukkahs. Says the Gemara, Hasa, when it comes to the Esraig Masnitin, it's a Mishnah and Sukkah. Hacha, it's a Braisa. So, why would we say that the Braisa is like the Mishnah? Well, uh, the Mishnah is like the Braisa. It should be the opposite. It should be that the, the Braisa has the same din on the Mishnah. Hello, Kemachlekes Kit, the Esraig, Kachmachlekes Khan. Says, Mari Nachanami, you're right. The same Achlekes by Esraig, which is a Mishnah. That's the same Achlekes over here by the Bryce of the stones to the bathroom. I'm Rav Yudo. Avaloi is a pious. You're not allowed to take out the pious. We're 20 lines to the bottom. The first line is Aval. My pious. What is this item? I'm Rav Zira. Karshine Bavaliyasa. Pebbles of Bavaliyasa, which is dirt from Bavel. I'm Rav. Also, the Mashish Visar Bishabis. You're not allowed to be a Mashish Visar. You use the rock to help them use the bathroom on Shabbos. That is forbidden. The same way you do it during the week, you're not allowed to do it the same way on Shabbos, the same way that you do it during the week. And the reason is because of the sairais, because of the hairs. And if you use a rack to help one use the bathroom, you're going to pull out the hairs. Therefore, says Rava, it is aser. What do you mean? If this was the way that they used the bathroom, and if they didn't do this, it could cause a sarkana. So why is it aser? Says the Gemara, no, what Rabbah meant that on Shabbos, it can't be like the Chol meant, Kelachar Yad, meant you should do it in an abnormal manner. Amr Rav Yanai, from Yeshem HaKavu, the Beza Kisi, if there's a place, Kavua, obviously they didn't have bathrooms, and therefore, they just went out to the fields. But if there was a set place that they used the bathroom, Malay Yad, that's when you're allowed to bring in a handful of stones, Imlav. If there's not a set place, then Kehach Re'a, then he could bring in only the size of a knot, which is a compromise between the two sizes. Maducha Kitana Shal Basamim. One is a stone that was used as a pestle for Basamim. Amrav Sheshit to be a Shalel, aid Motor. If there's aid upon it, then it's Motor taken on Shabbos. If it was previously used, then it is Motor. Mesve has the Gemara. Asar Dvarim Evinus Adon Litachlani says the Gemara one second. Rav Sheshit has taught us that if there's an Evan, if there's a stone with an aid, with a testimony on it. What did that mean? That meant that it was a previously used stone, then you let it use it on Shabbos. Ask Mara one second, there are 10 things that bring a person to hemorrhoids. What are they? Eating the leaves of reeds, leaves of grapevines, the shoops of grapevines, 
shall blay melech. A certain part of the animal you eat it without salt. Shidrin shall dog, you eat the back one of a fish, with dog maliach, a salted fish, lo bishan kol tarkai. Vashayis the shimmer yai, and you drink the shemarim, the sediment of wine. Vam kaneach, the sidu bachar says, you wipe yourself with a lime shard or a pottery shard, and here it is. Vam kaneach, with sar shakinach bachav eroi. Or if you use a stone that your friend used, that brings the dachtaini ice, that brings the hemorrhoids. The yisham and avatar lasso basic easy, even if you hang yourself in the bathroom. Which means you don't sit, you squat. It could also bring the hemorrhoids. So says the Gemara, how can you tell me that they had to use the used stone and Shabbos? But we see over here, this could bring one to this disease. Lokasha, habelach. One is when the stone is still moist from the previous usage. Ha, be yavish, then it's okay. Be by sema. Only one side is dirty. Kamet today's side, and both sides is dirty. That's when he calls achtenius. Be by sema. Ha, di day. If it's his own stone, then it's not a problem. Ha, de chavre. Amr lebay the Rav Yosef. Yardu aleg isham. What if rain rained upon a stone that was previously used by someone else? Vinitash tishu, and now it's no longer dirty. What's the story now? Mahu, you allowed to use such a stone. Amr lei. Or if you can still tell, then mutter, then you're allowed to use it on Shabbos. Pick it up over here on the last line. Visiata Dishmai.